we're here at the Bob Glanz Regenerating Station doing the ribbon cutting for what's been a, a labor of love for the last two years, basically. A little bit longer than that when you talk about development. We've got six engines that are 9.7 megawatts a piece and highly flexible. So we can operate from two and a half megawatts to the base load of the facility, which is roughly 58 megawatts and anywhere in between. So as you walk in the door, you see smaller engines and big tanks. And what those are, are the starting air compressors and starting air receivers. So we compress air and we store it in those big tanks because that's how you start these engines. We've got six CAT reciprocating internal combustion engines that burn natural gas. The, the CAT gen sets as we call them. So the generator and the engine are coupled together and the engine drives the generator. So as we ramp that engine up, it produces more and more power until you get to that 9.7 megawatts. And you'll see all six of them in a line. On the back end of this engine, we've got what we call a combined module. So that's where the natural gas comes in, the, the lube oil cooler is back there, and all of those are, call it support components for those engines. The radiator bank that you see, really all that is is just like a radiator in your car. We've got obviously bigger banks. I think there's nine fin fan coolers per engine. So you've got 54 fans to cool the engine. The exhaust is the one main pipe in the middle and the two pipes on each side are actually inlet, air inlets. We filter that air, they come in and run through turbos. The gas reduction yard. So what that does, we take natural gas off the Northern Natural Pipeline, and what we do is we take that gas and we reduce the pressure and we preheat it. We preheat that gas to keep any water, any moisture that could be in it from coming out and winding up in our engines. So we preheat the natural gas, we regulate the pressure down, and then we feed our engines from that. As a quick response asset, these things can start and go to full load in about eight minutes. And what that really allows us to do is, as the variable generation on the system either ramps up or drops off, we can start and stop these engines based on that need. So it's a highly flexible, highly efficient, good emissions asset that's going to support the South Dakota Territory for years to come.